Yo ho ho! What's good with y'all boys, bro? What's good with it? We back for another one, bro. Now listen, chapter 164 of One Punch Man just released. We've seen Goro bulge the earth on Saitama's chest. So the conversation has been sparked, and it has been sparked for a few weeks now, for a few chapters now, maybe even before, maybe even before 160, 159, 158. We're talking back in those time periods, back in those days, where people were talking about Goro versus Boros, Goro having surpassed Boros, or at least bringing the question up. When I shot it down, even I think even. In the most uh, a recent podcast on 163, check that out. Matt asked me my personal opinion about that fight. But I completely dismissed it. I, I put it to the side. Boros is clapping without a doubt, bit. And then 164 happened. There's a boy, uh, old boy in uh, in Discord, my boy Gums Gang, the immortal, came out and pointed out anybody anybody comparing these two images and, and arguing and debating is is clearly credulous. And 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 old bro. For the first time ever, comes is actually making sense, man. The the bulge versus the moon kick? I don't know. I don't know. Now, on the Boro side of this debate, you still have the collapsing star roaring canyon that you could apply to this conversation in regards to the capabilities or the overall result of Boros in contrast to Garo. You could still argue that. But right now, what we're gonna do today. If we're going to read through live the whole Saitama versus Boros fight. And we're going to do the exact same thing, man. The whole fight live of Saitama versus Goro. And we're about to see which one of these old boys, which one of these big strong cock diesel up is actually the strongest of the two. Or has, has so far produced it. Yes, we'll give the caveat, the caveat that Goro still has time potentially. Possibly. To become even stronger if this whole little conversation that they're having in this little coffee club tea house or whatever situation that's going on doesn't work out in Saitama's favor. If he actually resolve, resolves to continue fighting, we could see a stronger Goro. While obviously the defeated and dead Boros. <laughs> Is he dead? <laughs> He's dead. Is <laughs> his power level static until we see differently? Until we see differently, Boros <laughs> diseased. <laughs> nah. Uh, all right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Possibly. <laughs> He's static. He's gonna have the same capabilities that he had, resulting or or yeah, um, resulting in the collapse of Star Roaring Cannon at the end. So let's hop into it. Now there is the problem that I've been having. As an individual who's like almost fully uh, 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 dove into all of the One Punch Man lore, excluding the webcomic, I was having quite a bit of trouble differentiating between the anime's portrayal of the spectacular fight and the manga's portrayal of the spectacular fight. The anime did a, a, a an amazing job. The fight was still to this day, and that was years back. Still to this day, one of the best animated fights in all of anime history. So, it, it holds a high standard, and there's a reason why I probably hold it prominently in my memory. That's why having this reread done holds so much value in regards to the reality of the situation. We can remove the anime-only stuff and just focus on what Murata drew in that fight, what he did in particular, because that's the same that's the same reference that we're giving for Goro. Goro is going to be manga only, nothing to do with the webcomic whatsoever or any other existential facts or features that are going on. We don't have more uh, or superior or overriding facts for the Boros fight. We're not going to do the same thing for the Saitama fight right now uh, up against Goro. So that's how we lay it out, manga only, manga only. So before we begin, like the video, subscribe, and let's get it popping. Um, if you'd like to follow along, uh, the link will be um, for the Discord, will be in the description. You can click there and then you'll be able to find the link for the chapters that we have um, that are cataloged on uh, a certain website, Kabaddi, where uh, they have all the chapters there for non, um, I don't have to, I don't care a bit, like it's not my shit. Like, you can read the chapters there, man. that's what it is. So if you want the link to that, I'm not going to post it on YouTube. 
um, go there for that so you can follow along. We're starting on chapter 34. Uh, let me go full screen so y'all can see the chapter number name. You guys know for copyright reasons, I cannot show you the image. It is illegal to provide an alternative um, a viewing location uh, to a source that I did not make or create or don't own. Can't do that. We can talk about it and discuss it, show any portions of it. But when I'm not going to be looking at portions. I'm reading the whole thing, bitch. <laughs> the whole full fight, bitch. Bulls about to get clapped, bitch. Just like Garou getting clapped, but not as bad. Yeah. Cause Boro's probably stronger, Haiki, but we about to see right now. We about to see Loki. Alright. So let me, let me throw on the OST. Alright, let's ride. Alright. 34. We got Guru Gunship still throwing rocks. You got Guru yeah, Guru Gunship throwing rocks at Saitama. Take this telekinetic uh, rock barrage. Dire sling. Yeah, here smiling like he did something. Look inside. Yo, when I do his draws, that's how I cock these are back then, too. Look at him, bro. I shade it out. Smoke everywhere, bro. Suit not even, suit not even, like, phase. You're just making pebbles fly. Such a waste of superpowers. <laughs> Anyone can do that. <laughs> Yo, just separated his head, bit. Bam! Just shattered that bit. Like a balloon. How did it? Uh, uh, can shoot. My minions were nothing to you. Splendid. Yo! One of the most badass Boro panels, bitch. Yo, the up close one look realistic is. <laughs> Bruh! Before we fight, tell me your name. I am the leader of the Dark Raiders, Dark Matter, ruler of the entire universe. Boros. I'm a hero for, uh. Um, I mean, Saitama. A professional hero. Yo, that Thomas head looks super big right there, man. <laughs> I don't know what the looter uh, of the universe wants with Earth, but you're not getting away with destroying the city. What I want, there was a prophecy. A prophecy? And that means, I've laid waste through the entire universe. No one is able to stand against me and board me. At that time, a prophet told me something. On this far off planet, there is someone on par with me who can give me an enjoyable fight. That was 20 years ago. It took time to reach this place. My minions thought that prophecy was just an excuse to lure us away temporarily. <laughs> I thought I was just staring at him. But now I am certain. Now give my life its stimulus. That's why I'm here. This nigga one shot it with the first one. Boom! Send his ass. Bro, just armor just cracking, bitch. Mouth open, eyes wide. Smacked into this big ass pillar. Bro, just <laughs> left him in the. <laughs> Yo, boy, why Boros look clapped right there? <laughs> it's done. In the fight. Are you stupid? You can't go on a rampage on other planets just for kicks. Let even office ladies get that bored. <laughs> Burrow's getting up. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> the armor I used to seal my all too powerful strength is now broken. Okay. <laughs> oh, yo, Burrow's looking kind like geezer right there, bro. Yo, how come this picture ain't blow up? How come this is not the most common picture we see out there, bro? Yo, Burrow's looking raw. That's just how you just like. Ugh. With the with the glow of his eyes, yo, yo, <coughs> all right. You with the eye in the center, yo, borrows that thing out here, bro. This is all out here kicking up rocks, bro. Releasing the energy, bitch. Why are we seeing the rubble? Are, are they 
Oh no, we're just changing the. Okay. I'm zooming past any part that's not the fight. We're not here to see uh, Atomic Samurai lead a, lead a, a whole assault up against the ship, man. And then get saved by Tatsumaki. And while dealing with Mel's guard. Atomic Cock Diesel, man. Okay, now we're back at this point here. <clears throat> Quite impressive you could last this long against my released power. Yeah, you are strong. Okay. So there was a time skip there. Okay. Thirty-four point five. Nope. Around thirty-five. <coughs> there we go. Now we're starting chapter 35, we're just going through how the volume's laid out and everything. It's an actual scan. Bro, take top looking badass! Yo, hey, how does six year eight blow up like that? Yo! <laughs> bro, no wonder niggas love tank top, bro. Look at this picture, bro. The big ass association uh, tower, bro. Just standing up tall in the rubble with the ship just... Enveloping the sky, bruh. All above tank top in the background. And you just got centered on tank top's back. Then look at Cock Diesel. Oh boy, bruh. Yo, this fight, bruh, this fight had all the panels, man. All the panels, man. We're not we're not looking through that. We're not looking through that. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> look at my, my fault, bruh. Yo, what you saying? Like tank top was looking like that thing up there, man. Oh shit. Come on, come on. Damn, bro. Another guy was out there getting clapped by a time the whole time. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Throwing hands. All right. Saitama. So remember, there's a time skip that occurred there. They had already been. Saitama had already been lasting quite a while, or, or this long, quote unquote, and according to Boros, for a certain amount of time. So that's let's give it like five minutes right let's give it five minutes in, in accordance with the events that were going on and the amount of destruction that the heroes were able to deal with in regards to the ship's bombardment and as well as the time scan between or whatever and it wasn't hours it was definitely a few minutes so let's say it was five ten minutes whatever whatever we want to uh, uh, uh allocate to that when they were just going off and Boros started exchanging blows or going off at that time this should be an example or an extension of that what we had just skipped over or a display of what we have just skipped over Okay, so you got, okay, so Boros is out there going multi-hand, fast as hell, Gatling type shit, up against Saitama. Saitama's out there matching it with the same shit. Bro, just clashing up and down the hallway, bro, just eating away at the shit, bro. You heard throwing kicks, Saitama blocking those two. Okay, so that proves it wasn't just Saitama doing like the whole multi-hand block thing and Boros just punching multi-hand as well the whole time. They were doing different things as well in that in on page um, 30's uh, display of like different attacks with the lines, them clashing back and forth like that. Kicks and other punches and other dodges were, were also done. Top of the next one. Smacked him, B. Yo, wh where, were we, where were we, did we just see that? Was it? I think Saitama just did that to, to Goro, I think. Or was it Goro that just did that to Saitama? I think it was Goro who just did that to Saitama in, in 164, too. Yo, snake him. <laughs> just sent him, B. Yo, when did Boros lose an arm? What the heck? When did Boros lose an arm? Threw a left. Hit Saitama with it with the left. But his right arm was already off. When did he lose an arm? What the heck? When did Boros lose an arm?
Did I skip some shit, bitch? <laughs> when did Boros lose an arm? We were there for this whole fight, bruh. What the heck? Yo, what happened there? When did Boros lose an arm, bro? Said Saitama with that punch, though. Oh, I heard just melting the bit. Yo, just left Saitama in tatters, bro. Yo, I'm about to kick through the two. Oh! With one arm. Boros got struck with one arm. Oh, Saitama up, though? Oh, he up, though? Oh, they still clashing all the way up the thing, bro. Saitama, bro, cape strong as hell, bro. Okay, blasting upward through this shit. Bro, just exchanging blows all, all while they blast through the ceiling. Can they land? Nice moves. You really are strong. Or you are really strong. You are the first one to fight evenly with me. Boros. Saitama. The heck? Oh, jeez, he let off a cannon blast out of nowhere, man. I've released a vast amount of energy from within my body. Not a single bone will be left from any small fry, uh, small fry touching it. Yo, that explosion. Hold up, bruh. I gotta fix the thing. That's a big ass thing, bro. Well, the whole top of the ship is, is just... Yo, in the ship in this much detail, bro, there has to be entire civilizations living on this ship, bro. What the? <laughs> it's like time out there just chilling. Oh, and then bro zoom behind him. Behind you. <laughs> yeah, I know what the cover page is about to say. He took damage. Oh, that's the difference, dude. That's the difference. Gorilla ain't do that. That one definitely collected. It's obvious. Who's going to win? <laughs> Yo. Boros, why is Boros' arm still gone? Yeah, Goro, Goro has better regeneration than Boros right now. In this state. Because he's regenerated twice, I believe. His hands. And in like an instant. To survive the harsh climates of my home planet, my species has gained the greatest self-recovery ability in the whole universe. And I, in particular, possess recovery, physical ability, and latent energy that far surpasses the others. The likes of you would die of fatal wounds within seconds. I, however, only need to focus my energy to, to, to my arm to explosively speed up the healing process. There, you're good as new. The damage you took will only stack. Your strength will eventually fade. Shut up. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Are you done yet with this fight? <laughs> Yo, that's that time of man. So, Boros drops. Okay. All right, best. So, all that. So, Boros, Boros damaged Saitama, which Goro still has not done. Still has not done in pre-meteoric burst state, man. In pre-meteoric burst state, bitch. What is his release? In his release state, bitch. The next is meteoric burst, nigga. 
I don't wanna hear shit, bitch. This time I still like take damage, bitch. But we still, we still gonna read both the chapters, bit, and, and evaluate both situations, both fights, evenly, unbiasedly, bit. But, balls clapping right now, bit. That's all I'm saying. Balls clapping right now. Oh, we're at the top. All right, we're at page six. Of <laughs> all right. I'm bad. I've been doing a bad job of narrating where we're at, but <laughs> yeah, this shit gas, boy. Chapter one three six, page six. Ball's going meteoric burst out here, man. Yo, just an energy wave, a whole energy ball just exuding off him, bro. Still surrounding him, bro. Just takes off. Oh, look at the steepless, bro. Yo. <laughs> From one punch, stop! A meteor burst is eviscerating Garou, bitch. Stop! One punch, one punch, just blitz Saitama, and and nigga, b bro. Bruh, it ain't taking off. Where, where he going? Where he going? Where he going, bro? Using my Latin energy as a as a booster. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo. Saitama's out there like being punched, but he's still recalling from the punch, bit. And then, oh, yo, yo. And he gets needed in the stomach to bring out power beyond the limit of living beings. <laughs> yo, yo, what did he just do? What did he just do? What did he, did he just kick up? Oh, he, is that the moon kick, man? Yo, look at that! <laughs> look at that! Bro, I just noticed that in the same panel, page 13, where where Boros actually sends Saitama to the moon, and you see him breaking all those uh uh uh, uh all those sonic booms of uh, result of the speed, his acceleration to get to the moon, bro. If you look at the ship underneath the ship, all those lights that are going up at, at the ship, that's Tatsumaki sending all those shells back in debris and shit. So the ship, bro, this ship caught diesel, bro. More feats for the ship. More feats for the ship, man. The ship over EC. The ship over EC, bro. You heard it here first. You heard it here then, bitch. The ship over EC. The ship over Sage, high key, bitch. High key? The ship over Sage. Bro, let's see Saitama on the moon, bitch. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> bro. Okay, so he bows the earth. So? So? Relax, relax. He ain't blitzing like time like he like like meteoric dude. Yo, side, bro. <laughs> Yo, if you go on Discord, you can check out my edit. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it in the video or not. Um, of my edit that I made of Tatsumaki on the moon, bro. That bit look good. That bit look good. Oh, out of space. Crap. <laughs> We're holding my breath to it. That jerk. Yo, it's funny how, like, in the recent chapter 164, we just got, like, a tempo that got pushed out. And it seems like it may have something to do with God's power because Blast reacted in response to it. So I'm thinking, did God, did Saitama, like, <laughs> awaken something or start something when he landed on the moon? Or in Bor Boros sent him to the moon? Now this looks more like a real fight. <laughs> I didn't know Saitama said that! Saitama was like, oh, alright, bet. Oh, now we fight for real, huh? <laughs> That's how you fight Saitama, huh? Okay. Will this work? How many times weaker is the moon's gravity again? Let's see if it's true. 
<laughs> oh, damn! Yo, the dialogue, dude! Yo, Kate! Kate got diesel with it, bro! Yo, just left the surface, man! Yo, he low key probably pushed the moon back! Push the moon back out of its orb orbit. This state. It burns my body immensely. Similar to anaerobic exercise. It's supposed to be a trump card. I only use to settle a fight quickly. <laughs> As Kate lands behind him. Ew. He gotta jump out the way. Ew. Yo, I would have to do that then. Yo, just the, the smoke cloud that is getting that got left up there because the ship just started listening so fast. Just phew. Oh, bro, Saitama dropped the ship. Saitama dropped the ship. Yo, the anime downplayed that bit. Yo, Saitama dropped the ship. He landed and then dropped the ship. Yo, <laughs> it's coming down and work. Oh my, we're not reading this. We're not reading this. Yo, look at, look at, oh, look at Kate, bro. Look at down, look at down that boros walking up out that thing with the moon in the background. Yo, the first time we get a moon sight, time up here, a bit. Well, God in the background, probably did. Oh, we're walking out that this. Oh, it worked, <laughs> but this man. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Boros going after Kate. Makes me want to go all out. Yo, look at this high speed rush, bro. Yo, you can still see the shockwaves just bellowing outward or spreading outward from the location where uh, uh, where the ship smacked, bro. Yo, that's how big, that's how hard the ship smacked the Earth, man. Like, let's stop pretending like Saitama's moon jump wasn't that thing, bro. Yo, and bro, she's going off, but just giving him the hands. Oh, we tally with the big one. Yo, just smacks the blood out of Meteori. Oh, shit, but he took that? Oh, he took that? Oh shit! God. That's it. That's that's what makes this opponent worth defeating. Oh, he hit him with the consecutive play, puts him with the consecutive bit. Yo, I told you that's how we be printing niggas. When he prints niggas, it's cause he prints niggas. Yo, <laughs> consecutive. Yo, bro, that was one handed too, man. That was one handed. Bro, just splatter Boros. Huh? And then he just reattack. Bro, that regeneration crazy, crazy, bro. If so, have a taste of my other trump card. I'll release all of my power and wipe you out together with this planet's surface. Yo, Boros is done. Yo, the lightning from his energy hitting off everywhere, bruh. Oh? Does that mean it's about to fall down? Yo, <laughs> Planet Buster. Roar Cannon. What? What translation is this, bitch? And I'll use my own trump card too bro you can see the you can see stars you can see stars in the black portion of Boros's attack super moves serious series serious 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 strike stop bro who translated this bro fire him Yo, just blew that bit. <laughs> and then Boros is shit, bro. 
Bro, the same shockwaves you saw in the um on page uh 42. The same shockwaves we saw on the uh, in the uh uh Goro versus Dark Shot fight when they clashed. Bro, dirty <laughs> with it, bro. Yo, ah, it exploded. Did Sensei do that? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, blew the car and everything too, dude. Yo. <laughs> yeah, bro. If you take if you take people's word for it, Goro's Goro's attack on Saitama right now was stronger than his serious punch. Cause all they did was shit cancel out the collapsed steroid and candy. Just all the there you go right there. That's where all the strength went. But the rest of that just cleared out all the clouds to the whole next continent and further on upon that. Pass upon that. Yo. <laughs> Boros was really about to do that thing, bro. Oh, shit. Now he's dried out and dead. I have lost, it seems. You're still conscious. You really are strong. <laughs> Hyping out Boros, man! He said, oh, you still awake after a serious punch? <laughs> That's the prophecy foretold. A splendid battle. We bought, we both fought to the bitter end. Yeah. He had a bit. Yeah, it was. Yo, you just had time to tell myself, yeah, that was a good fight, man. <laughs> you liar. You were still holding back. This is if you didn't bear your fangs at all during this whole battle. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo! And there it is, the prophetic, the prophetic, uh, 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 uh what's we call it? Sleed, seeds laid about the moon and God. Prophecies can't be trusted after all. Damn, the dialogue coincides with the moon appearance in the background and everything, man. Yo, they, they was thinking about this for a minute. All right, one, you're way too strong. <laughs> he walks away. Ew. Kate. Okay, bruh. Boros out there with it, bro. Now let's go to now let's go to um Goro's fight. Is it one five nine? Is it one Let me go to one five nine? Okay. There you go. <clears throat> Alright, let's see how Goro holds up. Alright, so we're on 159. Okay, this is Goro's portion after the Sage part. We're not looking at that. Don't nobody care, man. We're talking about him versus Saitama. So he lands. That's in the chapter. It's not 159. 160. Yeah, this is where he jumps and he lands. Yeah, this is the start. Alright. So 160. That time I lands behind Goro. Yes, I am skipping through the whole dialogue and conversation part. Do nobody want to talk to Goro? I've got the sinking feelings I'm still missing something huge. Alright. So he goes out, but this is the from behind. Get smacked! <laughs> Yo, and he's spinning hard as hell, bruh! <laughs> Yo, that's already hell no. Already he off on a lower on a lower tier than Boros, bro. So time to smack Boros, send his ass back, bitch. He ain't no casual thing. No, he boom. 
on to the next one. Yo, the black shade. That's the one I still get, bro. Like, you just see them just like, just like flashing back and forth, bro. Lights off. They're up there high up in the sky, dude. He just had to just exchange of blows with that time I heard deflecting shit, bro. That time I heard dodging this shit, dude. That's really what's going on. That one is Saitama deflecting his punch. That one is Saitama uh, uh, dodging a kick or, or sidestepping a kick. That one is him dodging a punch from the top. That's another one of him dodging a kick. That's another one of him dodging a kick. At the class they just had. Yeah, Goro ain't landing nothing right there. Oh, but he dodged with a side top of punch. There you go. There. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, quick with it. Quick with it. Brought his leg up for a smack. And smacked his ass. Oh, he set his ass. Okay. Okay. Speeding now. All right. Oh, all right. Because <laughs> they was, Boros was throwing blows too. But, okay, all right. All right. He's patting himself off. Right above him. <laughs> yo, that smack though. Yo, yo, from above like that? Oh no, bit. Oh no, bit. We saw some stronger shit from released. Just broke his hand on Saitama's head. High speed regen. Does another punch. Nothing. It gets smacked back. Yo, sent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Left in there. He starts to evolve and shit. It's bigger. He tried to hit something with a haymaker. That don't do nothing. He's up there taking bit like nothing, bit. Hey, he didn't do that to Burrows. Not released, bit. All right, he did it to released. Nah, it ain't the same, bro. It ain't the same. All right, he may have done it to released, but it ain't the same, bit. He ain't take damage there. When he when Boros did it, uh, when released Boros did it to Saitama, he took damage. He didn't take damage here, bro. He's just staring at him. That's not the same punch. Don't worry. He tries to get him with a kick and just smacks his ass away, bro. Bro, Koro is not faring nicely right now, bro. Alright. <clears throat> huff huff. My modification is speeding up, and I can tell I'm way stronger than before, but it doesn't feel like I'm catching up to him at all. It's him sliding back from that smack. Shut up. Yeah, that's him deflecting Saitama's shit. Because you see his right hand coming back with speed and shit. So yeah, he deflected Saitama's punch like this. And then chopped him with that same hand on the left side. Then jabbed him. <laughs> While Saitama's still there. The martial arts is where he's coming up right now. This is where he's getting hit to Saitama. <laughs> yeah, that martial arts. And he gets him with the elbow. Saitama grabs the elbow. Goro shoves his hand between to, to break it open. Smacks him hard as hell. And he hits him with a God Slayer instant attack. Missing. Breaks the, uh, the rock that Saitama just threw. Low scale shit, bro. Saitama's out here dodging all his attacks now. 
this jerk, he's outpacing my combo attack with just his miraculous reflexes and reaction speed. But his technique is still that of a complete amateur. He's got plenty of openings to take advantage of. The reason you're gonna lose is that you have no technique. Your next move, the move beyond that, the move beyond that. I can read them all. <laughs> he actually gets the hit on him, all right, bet. Okay, they, they was both about to trade a punch. And then Goro got it off first, actually. God Slayer, then with the knee, sends his ass. Ascending attack. Oh, shit. <laughs> all right, that's a big boy attack. But still, though, bro, these are small buildings. Or these are buildings that the ship dwarfed. Smack through buildings, push them back. Then Goro takes off flying after him. Yo, great power attack. <laughs> that's some big boy shit. That's that's nah I'm not, it is kinda like his released beam, but smaller. But damn it was still <laughs> To turn out that sand. All right, so Goro's back after him. <laughs> Says Emma sitting there casually joking and dodging all uh, 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 Goro's attacks. We'll get the volcanic situation going on here. And Saitama and Goro fight in the air above the volcano. Demonic Goro comes out now with another transformation. Hey, you got a little bit, uh, a little better again. <laughs> Smack Saitama again into the volcano. Kind of left him like a, uh, like a, uh, like Boros at that one time. Jumps up. How about this? <laughs> Smack uh, Goro in the mouth. He's unaffected even after that. If the impact penetrated him and shattered the thing behind him, that means he's sturdier than the thing is. This guy is tougher than a mountain. <laughs> I see why they're disappointed. Because it ain't stronger than Boros. That's why he was crying. Yeah. Bro, what is this? Bro, why we gotta take a break to see Saitama in the shower, bro? Like, that's what y'all about? I ain't even read this bonus chapter. Should I react to this bonus chapter? Oh, live reaction. <laughs> bonus chapter. <laughs> Give your boy a little treat. Yo, the, is this the cover page for volume 25? Or the, yeah, it is. The front and the back. Yo, Mizuki! <laughs> Yo, yo, you Lily, bro. My boy Metal Bat. My boy Dinos, bro. Look at that Dinos fit, bro, with the hoodie. Bro. Look at that Dinos fit, bro. Bro, I low key rock that hoodie, high key. Not high key, I rock that hoodie, bro. That shit go hard. Hey, somebody grab us, grab me a Dinos hoodie like that, bro. Bonus back in my head about 1.5 years ago. 100. Phew. More hair loss. It's been happening a lot lately. <laughs> huh? I feel like my scalp's sticking out more than usual. I wonder what's happening to the back of my head right now. I'm kind of curious. I only have one mirror. I want, I want to know. There's no way I could possibly see it. Even if I turn around really fast. It's what a quitter would say. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> what's more? <laughs> Is that zombie? No, that's that's that's, 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 that's that's hell, man. Nobody knows whether it's true or not, but it said at that moment, Satama did indeed see the back of his head. <laughs> Stupid, man. <laughs> back in the light. <laughs> Yo, cover page, bro. Or the next page, the top page, yeah. With Drive Knight's three forms there, bro. Hell yeah, all his forms are key. We got a TB version of all the uh, 
Yo, we're supposed to be a Boris versus Goro. <laughs> Y'all be out here lost in the sauce for the volume, bro. Great, great volume, one. Alright. So then, the next one we go to is the actual fight itself of 164. Alright, let's ride. Bro, Goro looking. Ooh. Alright, so he's going after him. Quit effort around. Throwing a bunch of hands at Saitama. Where, where's Saitama here? Oh, yeah, I heard just blocking all of it. All up in the air and everything, too. <laughs> Technique cross. I just went through, through this like two days ago. Dodging everything. Dodging everything. Still dodging everything, bro. <laughs> Get over here. Right here. Yo, what is this? Extreme power attack. That attack is crazy, bro. <laughs> Shit. Page 18 of, uh, uh, of 164. You see the bold. It's Saitama like responding with it. Consecutive normal punches. <laughs> She's breaking all his shit. See, that part right there is confusing. Is he blocking or countering or trying to uh, meet the consecutive normal punches? No, no, he just did it right there. And this is two handed consecutive normal punches, too. Set said go through mountains, bro. This is this is this is dangerous because that 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 attack that he just did is the only thing that's putting him in like meteoric level with that power display. But the rest of it, especially in contrast of the Boros fight, and when Boros took some of these attacks, and to assume that these attacks are, are Saitama exuding the same amount of force, Boros, in the rest of his state, like, it seems like right now that like Goro is in around the range of released Boros. But that, a tingle, that single attack is what pushes him to Meteoric. But everything else is released or lower. And to be honest, the ca how casually... Um, Saitama's dodging and, and like playing around with Goro's attacks. I, I think he's like low, low released with the rest of his shit. Like the rest of his shit is low released. Besides, also as well as martial arts, his martial arts is very high. So that would, right, it's a fight right now. It's a fight. But Boros is winning. Boros is winning for sure. And depending on how how destroyed, depending on how destroyed, um. Depending on how destroyed Goro gets from an assault from Meteor Boros. Shit, it's hard, bro. Because he just took those consecutive and didn't blow up. I think Goro may be more durable than Boros. But Boros, uh, this, this is shit. Boros is still, right now, he's still winning. Attacking faster, more potent shit. It's just that one attack. Shit. <laughs> shit. 
shit. He just catches his punch and drops him. When Gorilla was ready to die. Okay, so no, he was like, this is done though. Yeah, for, for sure. As of right now, he's definitely weaker. That doesn't really change that much though. It's just like his resolve at the end of the fight. But yeah, he doesn't have like a collapsing star level effect or anything like Latin power to blow out like that. But I'm, I'm saying I don't think this fight necessarily is it's necessarily over. If it is, this is a disappointing ending. But. Bro. <laughs> the martial arts he was out there with, bro. Deflecting his shit like in the beginning. In the beginning. When especially when we smacked him down, bro. Yes. But we cannot pretend like throughout the majority of this fight, Saitama has not been casually dodging a lot of his stuff. A lot. A lot. That wasn't the case necessarily with Boros. He was... And yeah, I said someone was blocking a lot of his shit. For sure. For sure. But that blitz he did, bro. When he blitzed him with the... In the meteoric state, bro. Right <laughs> Yo. This <laughs> was gas, bro. This was gas. Oh. Um, this is close. I'll say that. Yes. Current Goro has now reached the levels of Boros. I will say that. And I can admit that. Without any bias, without any other sort of uh, uh um, yeah, without no bias. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Like, okay, we can have that conversation now. It's a valid conversation. I won't continue to ignore it. That is the case. It does look like, yes, <laughs> yes. So, huh. Oh. Now, there are the complaints, I, especially in contrast. See, what, the complaints that I find are valid are the ones that are in contrast to what's happened in the manga, not the webcomic complaints. Because those, I have not been able to read the comments because the few ones that I've been reading that come up, come up on my alerts, that's how I, I see the majority of all of your comments. Like, we're now as we're like, especially in this portion of the arc, and people are seeing that like we're doing good content, you know, we're dedicated to the storyline or whatever. We're getting a lot more comments, and I get to see every single one of those comments as they come through through my alerts, my notification things. Some of them, it only shows me a small preview of what they are, not the entirety of the comment. And a lot of them are mentioning the webcomic, or, or not necessarily in detail, but that's what stops me from reading them, because I know that you're going to elaborate more, more so upon the webcomic, or contrast your opinion in regards to the webcomic. I don't want to hear that. Just my goal only, and I don't want to hear what it is compared to that. I know people are talking about like, oh, this is better or worse or whatever, sure. But I'm only taking that as valid in regards to the Boros fight. The Boros is the pinnacle of what we have to the best fight or the greatest fight Saitama has had so far in the series. So that's that's the only person that it's fair to give him a comparison up against. We didn't, Sarochi didn't get a chance to fight Saitama. She fought um, Tatsumaki. And all the other monsters haven't put up a, a, a display like that. Orochi didn't stand up to the standard. He didn't hold up. So... I could see the destruction level or some of the aesthetics of the fight people complaining about. Boros got a bunch of badass shots. And in between those chapters, those were a lot of badass shots. There, which I feel is a little lacking here in, in the Goro variant. But overall, I'm still um, excited to see more from this Goro fight. And I'm anticipating greater displays, greater feats, and greater arc in the chapters to come. I don't want it to be the end of the fight. I will say that. And if it is the end of the fight here, yes, I think the Boros fight was better in all the aspects. In all the aspects possible. But the investment that we have for Goro, it's really what's pushing me to, to expect more. Like I don't know what's gonna the outcome's gonna be, but this whole moral play seems to have a lot of weight or a lot of potential to actually pull sway in regards to Goro's opinion or viewpoint. So, barring that being the plausible outcome, which I think it is, we should see Garo be going all out here. And that's what I'm expecting. To summarize, I think Boros is still stronger than, Bo than Garo right now. Yes, Garo has one attack that's catastrophic. Catastrophic. Collapsing star level.
but I question whether Boros will be able to regenerate from that. He regenerated from consecutive, if I remember correctly. Consecutive normals. But the series is a whole different game. I don't know why. But I'm wondering if he would splatter and then just reset him. If it's just that he just didn't have enough energy to do it again. I'm wondering. Because you would think from the force of the impact from that punch that he would just vanish or evaporate or, or, or however you want to describe it. Be pulverized. But that wasn't the case. He was still intact and conscious. As I tell pointed out. We'll see. Boros got it, man. Yo-ho!